What's good YouTube, it's your boy Kid the Dawn and welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to be going over a Colossal team that I built. Now Colossal is my favorite Pokemon, so I had to use them. Very gimmicky, love that kind of team. Uh, EV spreads on this team, don't know what I'm doing. Anyone has any suggestions, leave it below. I'm just kind of going with whatever. I like a special attack version of Colossal. Uh, grass type, get rid of the spores, and I pair him with Rillaboom somewhat, so the grassy terrain sets up more damage. Uh, speed is kind of very important on this mod, but he needs a way to be set up, which I use either Dragapult or Urshifu. My main version is Dragapult, start off with the Surf with the reduced special attack, so he's not doing too much damage to Colossal. Uh, without tearing, it does oh, 50% of Colossal's health, which I don't really care to do. So I tear most of the time, tear grass, usually a lead off for this team. Dragon Dart's very effective move. Uh, if opponent protects, it's direct to the opponent. Bajan's too high, directed to the opponent, it's gonna hit. Super LP, Phantom Force, very good move. Can knock off a Flutter Rain, one hit, very easily. Speed is important. Uh, he's faster than all Flutter Mains, except the ones that have the speed boosting. Very important, he's faster than all the ones that have Besides the ones that have speed boosting, booster energy. So I see that kind of nervous. That's what the focus dash is for though. Just set up the surf. He'll take a hit. He's fine. Uh, other way I set up is Urshifu. Urshifu you can set up easily. Aqua Jet. Uh, max HP. Some special damage or special defense. So he's able to take some hits from Flutter Mains. Also, some defense takes a hit from some flying moves. Not the fastest. This guy's just meant to do damage. He's, he's insane. He doesn't come as much as Dragapult, but paired with Rillaboom, great partner. Speaking of Rillaboom, Grass Terrain, stupid OP, uh, Assault Vest, so he can take. He can just take so much special defense bulk. Attack is pretty high. I'm not invested in it though. No need. I just want this guy to stay on the field, do passive damage, slow things down with drum beating knock opposing items off and he can switch out with U-turn, the late U-turn which is nice, switch it for free. Uh, Sneasler, really good, pair him with Rillaboom most of the time. Uh, grass Seed boosts defense, defense not too high, this guy's taking one to two hits and he's done but he just ex exudes so much power. Now Moltres, he's really only here for Urshi Foods. This, he can take hits when he tears to grass. Otherwise, he's, if I bring him, he's going to set up a Tailwind. He can take a couple hits. Citrus Berry brings him back up to a good amount of health after he gets down below half. But he does not come to any games at all. He's just here. If I need a harder Shifu counter, put him in. He's doing, he's just taking hits. You hope to get the burn. He's just a physical wall. Alright guys, welcome to my first game on the ladder. Now, I'm going to be leading off with Colossal Dragapult. Uh, my main lead every time. I believe Urshifu Chen Chenpal. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of scary. I don't know if I should be surfing. I have a feeling he might be taking out, but I also don't know how to tell if this is Urshifu Rapid Strike or not. So that's gonna be tough. So I'm gonna go Terra. Oh, this is the water version of Urshifu. Who's more important to get out of here though? I believe Chen Pao, but I'm gonna go for the spread damage just in case. This just to hit, take out Chen Pao if it hits. I hope it hits. Who's he tearing? Terra Urshi. Okay, this could be scary. I hope he's going for Claw, so Claw's gonna take these with this tear grass that I've set up, so. I hope he. I really hope it's just an Aqua Jet. Surging Strikes, I still believe I could take. Just don't have too much defense and bulk. Okay, nothing too crazy yet. Perfect. I didn't need to set up a Surf, but it's always better safe than sorry. Plus, this is gonna do some damage to break the Sash on that Chien Pao, which would be very important if this Heat Wave also wins. 
perfect hit everybody. This is a good first turn, usually kind of what I expect out of this team. Uh, even though I am, oh, that's even better. Don't need, didn't need a surf, that would suck. Could have dragon darts. So, but this is usually what I expect out of this team. Very fast offense. I'm taking at least one Pokemon on the first turn. Usually, both these Pokemon can stick around as Colossal is very bulky and the Focus Sash on Dragapult is very nice. Usually, most people only just target them with a fairy move, such as Dazzling Gleam or Moonblast, which is a good move. But with this Focus Sash, if you're not double targeting him, he's just sitting on the field doing too much damage. He's usually like the fastest thing out here unless there's a Tailwind setup. And this Dragonite. It's just going to be super weak to Dragon Darts, which I'm going to go with just in case he tries to protect anybody. He, can, he can't tear that guy anymore to extreme speed. And that, I'm just going to take out this Archie Blue, get rid of him. So this guy is Multiscale Dragon Knight, he's just gone. Uh, first Dragon Darts are doing a good amount of damage, but we'll see. Easy. Urch is not a problem when you have Colossal Energy. This guy is just busted. Okay, that still be the most scale break. So close, so close. It's not that scary. Just gonna drop speed, I believe. Not even. Larry Moltres. I uh, don't want to get this guy to a Berserk range, but I'm just gonna have to. I'm hoping he's not very specially defensive. If I can get this guy up one turn, that's just a 4 0 sweep. Didn't even have to switch anybody. Just hanging on. Dragonite, or Dragon, Dragon Dark should go before anything else, though. This should be easy. Even if he is able to attack, he's gonna kill one bomb at best. Boom. Quadrate. Oh, so close. So there goes Colossal. Put in so much work though. I think it's a kill. Two of the four on this team, basically almost three. I need just a quick Aqua Jet, which I do not have, but I can fake him out with Rillaboom, Dragon Arts. Easy game one. Boom, perfect. Camps the battle. Easy first victory of this regulation. I think we should be moving on up to Ultra Ball tier. Hopefully I can get this team to Master Ball, even rank 1 one day. You guys would also like to see that. And long grind, because I'm not the best at this game. But, leave a comment, maybe I can stream this game, try to get to rank 1 one day. It's gonna take a while though. Let's see if we hit that Ultra Ball. Well, Ultra Ball. Maybe two more wins in a row. Alright guys, loading into game two. Hmm. Murphy, this is a very regulation one team. High Dragon. I'm guessing he's gonna be setting up some sort of tailwind with that Murkro. If not, it's not really an issue. I'm also gonna hope that that is a Terra Grat or Terra Water. Hmm. Terra Water? Golden Go? I know he's not gonna hit me with any water moves. Among Us is kind of scary, so I'm gonna bring a bunch of grass people. Grass mobs here. Um, I think this is a perfect Urgy though, to be honest. He's just gonna drop so much damage. This team is very weak, except the Among Us stamp, so. 
get in there. Tailwind Shadow Ball, which should not really be an issue. I'm not sure if he's going to Terra himself yet, though. So I'm going to go with the Heat Wave, so I can also hopefully take out the Murkrow. And if he doesn't Terra, I'd be able to also take out this Golden Girl. So, let's see. And Terra. Alright, I bet it's Terra. Longer. Terra Steel, even better. So. This heat wave should still be able to knock it out, no problem. Set up this golden go afterwards. Do that. Reduce damage. Let's see what's going on. I can also get it. Please <laughs> kill both. Oh, so close on the Mark Row. This Mark Row's definitely gonna icy win. Take out both of these Pokemon. Unless I possibly protect Colossal here, depending on what he's gonna do. He doesn't have an Earth Shield too, so I should be fine. Oh, he's gonna make, doesn't matter, he's just gonna extreme speed me, so I'm just gonna have to sack both of these guys. Pray something misses. This, these guys are both dead. There's nothing. He's dead. Yep, both dead. So here, I believe my best play would be to fake out this Dragonite. Ooh. Yeah, fake out this Dragonite. This Mark Road Prankster, if he's just doing a setup move, he's still gonna set anything up. I don't know if he wants to do any setup moves. It's just such an annoying. Not even strong, he's just annoying. But I believe Surging Strikes should be able to take care of him. I should just, yeah, I'm gonna just fake and break this uh, multi scale on Dragonite. Crit, alright. So, yeah, this is good again. Real Boom's not too invested. In attack, so that foul play did not do as much as I believe he thought it was going to do. Let's see what can he add here. Guard Chomp. Oh, this is perfect. Um, none of my Pokemon are weak to Guard Chomp. I plan on just slowing him down with the drum beat. I believe he's going to try to protect him. So Surgeon Strikes there, and then a Drum Beat. Slow him down, Tailwind should be ending soon, and I would like both of them to faster. It's not going to hurt, right? Earthquake's really weakened. 
And grassy terrain. Um, fuck, he, he just broke grassy terrain. Really boom hangs on though, thank god. <laughs> This is not looking too good. Hmm. Okay, so the team's tailwind just ended. He's gonna go after Rillaboom. He has no reason not to. And I do not have a way to protect this Rulu at all. He's just, he's gonna go down here no matter what. I believe he's extreme speeding into it. So, it's gonna be tough for him. Yep, there goes Rulu. Really well. I should be faster now, I'm hoping, after that first drum beating. Unless I wasn't paying attention, he was clear and like, Which I yeah, believe he was. The only problem is if he has rough skin and I don't knock him out, he has rough skin, ooh, this gonna... Yeah, this is gonna be a loss. There's just no way I'm able to pull this back. Unless close combat can just somehow... <laughs> hit this Dragapult, or Dragonite, but this Dragonite's still gonna move first to extreme speed. I'm t I believe I'm dead. I'm too damaged. Defense is not that. So look, this guy's a little bulkier than most Urshifus, but... There's just no way. Nothing strong. Sheesh. Good game by this opponent. Man. I'm surprised this team's still able to win games. This is a very red one team. Murkrow's very annoying. Just setting up tailwind for everybody. Didn't have any sort of speed control in this game. It's the one problem I really believe I have with this team. No sort of speed control. Only guy I can get faster is that, uh, that colossal, but if you're hitting me with extreme speeds, it doesn't even matter. I don't have any priority moves on either him or Dragonfall to lead off with, so. It's gonna drop me down. Should still be an Ultra Ball. This next and final game for today hopefully can keep me an Ultra Ball. Alright, headed into game three. Huh. So, I believe he's gonna lead with some sort of Tornadus and Rillaboom. Stop. So you can set up Tailwind and easily fake out. There's a lot of physical attackers on this team. So I believe... If he comes in with Heatran, he's gonna tear a grass. So I believe I'm gonna have to lead off with Moltres, just in case for an Air Slash. Gonna bring in Sneasler. I'm hoping he's leading off with the Rillaboom just to set me up. And then. Hmm. I think Colossal and Dragonite. Or Dragapult, still good idea, good options. It's just that fake out puts on so much pressure on leaving with Colossal, but there's no point. So maybe I can just mirror match his tailwinds this game. I believe that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna have to go for the tear grass here. I don't. I believe he's still gonna tear up, but I'm gonna go for the air slash in case he doesn't, so he's weak to fighting. Uh, Dire Claw Tornadus. If he can get paralyzed or something, that'll be nice. I'm guessing this is gonna be Urshifu straight to water. Yep. Oh, fire. Ooh, that kind of destroys some plans, but I'm hoping he doesn't have Terra Blast on that thing. Yeah, 
I don't believe anyone's living with the next attack. This team's just... Okay. So he went terrified to a four, he did the flame body. Only problem is I'm not really giving out enough damage back. And I believe I wasted a tear on Tris, to be honest. Yep. I'm gonna hope he goes for a Tailwind here. If he bleak when storms, it's over. 100%. But if I can get a Tailwind up, while he matches, then I believe I can go with the strategy I was hoping for. Just lead off with Dragonfold. Awesome. Good storm, no misses, yeah, that sucks. What this does mean though is I s gonna be the fastest with Dragonpoint. So Dragonpoint and Colossal should be able to go first. If he does tailwind, oh no. I just realized I can't tear a Colossal anymore. Surging strikes and I'm done. I believe I'm still going to have to surf myself, take half damage if he does not go for Tailwind. I believe I can do it, but if he goes for an Aqua Jet, it's kind of, kind of over. So I believe best case scenario here is maybe a Dragon Darts Ted. And then we'll see, oh, you can't protect it from her, she blew up. Let's go Dragon Darts, Power Gem. If he Aqua Jets, I hope I can hang on. Tailwind. Yeah, Colossus gone. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Good game by the opponent. That's tough. There's nothing I can do there. I don't want to end on a loss, so... Gonna, gonna go for a game four. Gonna back out of this game. This guy, easy victory. If he just surging strikes, he's breaking focus sash, hitting again, I'm down. Might take all three hits since the dragon type does resist this water attack, but now the flutter mains out. <laughs> yeah, there's there's nothing I can do. I can phantom force. But he's gonna be faster. Any moves he does, I'm I'm gone. Good play by him. Damn. Should have just let him with that call also Dragon Ball. Could have had a victory, I believe. Game four. Scornatus and Regilecki, I believe, will be a lead. I think that Sui and uh, Zorak is really just there to be a troll. So I'm gonna lead with Colossal still here, I believe. Very smart lead. He brings Regilecki, that guy's going down to anything, so so weak. Only problem is Basque I believe he'll bring that Basque instead of a Rain Dance. So I'm gonna go Rillaboom. If I'm bringing Rillaboom, I gotta bring this guy, Sneasler. Makes him possibly the fastest Pokemon on the field, except for Regilecki if there's Tailwind out, so. Let's see what they're leading off with. Oh, perfect. I believe they're gonna set up Rain Dance and go straight for a 
wave crash. So I don't know if I want to surf anybody here. Um, I'm going to hope he doesn't know. Let's go for Terra Grass. I'm going to hope he attacks Colossal. Now the question is, do I want to attack? Ooh. I think I'm going to take out the uh, Tornadus. So if he does attack, it's not, I, sh I believe I should do enough damage with this Power Gem to take him out. So he won't be able to set up a Tailwind. And I'll keep speed control on my side. Let's see. Let's see what he's going for. Now if he just double protects, it's gonna be tough. He's gonna hard read what I'm doing. It's gonna be very obvious. Rain dance, come on, hit me with the whip crash. Oh that's not good. That's not good at all. He's definitely the best thing on the field now. <laughs> Doesn't even need tailwind. But I don't believe he'll be able to set one up anyways. Yeah, perfect. So this Basky Legion is going to be scared of Colossal. All the problems I know, he's got to have something in the back that can deal with Colossal. Let's see. He... I don't know what he'd actually have. Okay, I can deal with that. This Dragon is going down no matter what. This turn, I'm guessing he's gonna go for a Moon Blast on me. I'm gonna try to leave this Basket Legion. I believe he's probably just gonna dazzle and play now that I'm thinking about it. So if I can. Terrible Blast. Terror Blast here. I'm gonna guess it's Fairy Terror. The basics. Yep. Happy Moon Blast here. Colossal's dead. I, actually, no. I, he's pretty special defensive. Okay. Don't really care about that. It's actually. That move will matter in a little bit here. But I should be able to survive this. <sighs> Barely. Are you kidding me? Special attack drop. Um, don't know if he just quit or not. I guess. We'll see. I'm hoping he quit because I think he was going to win that game. <laughs> see here. So game's over, don't know if he quit it. Didn't give a win or a loss. So, gonna go for another one. Why not? Oh, the Trick Room Team, my favorite. So, I believe he's gonna go Cresselia to lead off. Chris, so, I believe he's gonna go Cresselia to lead off, so try to set up some sort of Trick Room for his Ursaluna. So, I'm gonna go Rillaboom Sneasler here. Mm. I'm gonna go Rillaboom Urshifu. It's not really negative to Urshifu. Only thing I can see is if he does annoyingly start off with Among Us Spore. Then I'm gonna bring Cole Dragapult in the back. Cole is slow, so if he does set up a Trick Room, it'll be nice. And then if I outlast his Trick Room, I can hit him with the Terra Grass Surf. Colossal is also very strong against this uh, Ursalona. If I can tear grass, his earth power moves, or his ground moves aren't doing that much damage. 
physical attacks will hurt if he does use facade though. So hopefully he's not. <laughs> gonna gonna pray for a Ursulina looks like a perfect song. He's either gonna ally switch or just straight up go protect. Which would not which would be stupid because Hmm. If he protects Ursulina, it's dumb. If he ally switches and protects that would be I don't know if you can have that switch to protect. Some of those surging strikes and knock off. Don't really care if he sets a trick room. If I can knock off some sort of leftovers and do a bunch of damage. It's probably gonna be tearing on them. Okay. So he's gonna be able to take these hits, but. No. That's a weird tear. I'm not seeing that with like he protected. Perfect. He just wasted a turn. Not doing much damage, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> I fake now I wish I faked out this uh Priscilla. Won't matter though. Doing a good amount of damage to him. Trick room. Expected. I could get a free switch in if I U turn. Don't think it's gonna do too much damage, but I'm gonna go for it. And then over here, this guy's pretty much. He's it's not useless, but he's not doing too much damage to anything. I think I'll just keep going into Ursaluna. The burns will eventually take it out. So, uh, oh, I'm probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping he's going for a Lunar Blessing. Oh, that sucks. Colossal. There's no reason not to. No, he's not choice banned. So I'm thinking he might see an easy headlong rush. So I'm gonna go Terra Grass. Um, he really should do some solid damage to both. Try to get double damage and then go for another Surging Strikes. If everybody survives, I believe this first limit will go down. But if I don't, if he takes up this Urshifu here, it's dead. So I'm hoping I move first. But this is a fast colossal, so I really doubt I'm gonna be going first. That's okay. I believe only like four or five. I think four turns of Trick Room have been used. I'm gonna check. So if this is the last turn of Trick Room, I should easily be able to take this team out. Um, well, I guess take this lead out, not this team. This lead is ridiculous. Sometimes I'm able to stop this thing, sometimes not. That Terra, Terra Ghost really, really just threw me for a loop. I've never seen that before. It's usually Terra, Terra Ground or Terra, ooh, 
It's usually Terry Ground or Tarot. Normal. But he has two more turns of Trooper, which really suck. So I believe... If anyone survives here, I'm really... I'm really hoping Colossal can survive this, but... I just don't really see a way where he does. We're gonna set up a search strategy. We're gonna set it up. Okay, that's nice. It's gonna be a free setup because I'm just protecting next turn. There's that's nice. Nice burn that's going away in two seconds once you just Lunar Blessings it away, you know. Cool. So I'm not gonna take any damage here. This is gonna be nice. And I'm both of them will be s well Colossal will be set up. The only thing is I don't really know who to attack next. I would like to Terra Blast, but I'd have to do it this, uh, I believe this turn. But he would just, I think he'd just one shot me if I even attempt to go for an attack, so I'm gonna have a double attack. scary because he cannot support me. There's four Colossal, but I believe he's just going to be one, one shot anyways. Gonna go for a Heat Wave here. And dra heat Wave and Dragon Darts. I should knock him low. Ursula should go. Not the lowest, but it'll be moving second. So I believe he might be trying to, he might try to protect him as well. Go for a heat wave. Heat wave dragon arms. Okay. I guess I'm gonna set Priscilla back up. Or is Zomorel? Oh. That's not good. I needed to take the Ursula. Because these dragon arms cannot hit a Zomorel. Oh god. They can take one, okay. I believe I believe a tear grass should KO. I don't think. If not this game has been lost, but He's gonna just rage powder next turn. It's not good. So my best chance is still a heat wave. Only thing is I think Aqua Jet can take out this colossal, I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm gonna go for heat wave phantom floors. This this could be good. Oh, this is gonna be nice. So Phantom Force should be able to What is this guy doing? So much switching going on. S 
So no matter what, Ursuline is dead. And I know he's gonna go for a trick room. Only thing is I might I don't think I can take out this Cresselia at all. So I could go. I need to go for Heat Wave. Among this is very. I don't know. He's gonna redirect anything, anyways. Yeah. I'm gonna need, like, the world's craziest Krayl on this Cresselia. It's not happening. Damn. I know he's gonna set up Trick Room. The only thing is, there's like nothing I can do about this. Four nice. Oh. So really, I'm only worried about the Azuma right here. Cresselia can do damage to this Dragon Ball with Ice Beam. But I'm not that scared, it's not really the strongest attacker. So. Oh. Gonna go for Phantom Force. I'm hoping. Azumarill is not the strongest defensively. It's really strong off offensively, though, so I can get him out of here. Cool, bless him. Yeah, him not setting up trick room there is kind of bad. Yeah, it's over. That's good plays by him. <laughs> really don't want to end on a loss. It's like, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go for a fifth game. This team worked out a lot better on Showdown Ladder. But, I don't know if that's because I'm just in the rank or I'm playing a bunch of lower level players like myself, or what, I'm just having a bad matchups here. I'm thinking more people are just starting to figure out Reg D, since there's more pro players, probably more videos and everything going over this. But, I'm going to go for one more game, win or loss, at this point. I've been recording for like an hour, and my rank cannot keep taking a beating. Because I know this thing is definitely not an ultra ball anymore. I'm back in great ball. So one more game. Let's hope I can get a win. Don't want to end on a loss, but I'm going to take a loss. Tonight I'm going to have to be back in the lab building teams, which sucks. I spent so much time grinding these tarot shards yesterday. <laughs> Alright. Battling in a... Ooh. So here this team is, hmm, I think I have to lead off with Rillaboom. If he leads off with Tola Cole Lilligant, that uh, Spore from Chlorophyll Lilligant's just too crazy to deal with. Assault Vest could take a hit from Torkoal, if that is what he's doing. If he's going to lead off with Tailwind. Tornadoes, that is gonna suck, but I'm gonna bring these guys in the back. Oh. Yeah, gotta bring Colossal and Dragon Ball in the back. <laughs> the, they just come to every game. I really don't have this like a second two. If I had a maybe a better mom than Moltres to bring on this team, maybe you could bring like a Zapdos or something next time. Seems a little bit. Electric moves are a little better. It takes some of these hits better. Maybe that's another deal. Grim Snarl Group. Okay. So he has no speed control. Um, really scared of the Cleaver, honestly. He can set up Stealth Rocks, Break Sashes. So I'm gonna target him, I believe. Not really worried about Grim. He's just gonna set up screens. It's gonna suck. 
He's gonna reduce damages, but... Hmm. I can Dire Claw for him to actually try to get him out of here. Because if he protects that Cleaver... Oh! Flutter... Oh, this is nice. Dire Claw should still be able to take this guy out. So from here, yes, the thing I'd want to do is win speed war from go. Not effective. I don't think anything's really going to be effective except for close combat. So I'm going to go acrobatics here. Double powered. Since I used up the grassy. The grass seed, okay. Gas on Bloom shouldn't be too effective on anybody. That sucks. That is the one thing I did not want to happen. Oops, we can Okay. So, after this, he should. Let's see if the Flutter Mane survives Toxic. I don't believe it does, but... Just hangs on. Okay. Still faster. It's gonna start out Grim. I, I believe he protects the Grim here. Honestly. So I'm gonna be safe and just drum beating the Grim. Don't really care for Fluttermane to do so much damage to my team. So I'm gonna just knock him out. If Grim attacks, it's not really an issue. I'll just bring in Colossal. Should be. Oh, let's go. So now it should be a 4v2. Yeah, 4v2, but this Grim's gonna be slowed down. This might even KO no screen attack. Um, I don't know what he had, what he could have for his last guy, but Dire Claws, Torkoal, okay. Um, not really scared. Uh, I could really set myself up, so I'm gonna go for a U-turn on this Torkoal. Switch into Colossal so he can activate Steam Engine, if he goes for an eruption. And then just Dire Claw the Grim, he's probably gonna hit Thunderway this time, whatever, who cares. Guessing Terrifier, that's what we're here. I don't know what else you'd go for. Yep. He will be moving last though. This is such a slow Pokemon. Yeah. Should still be able to take him with Dire Claw. Perfect. So I'm gonna lose Sneasler. Doesn't really matter at all. Guy's kinda weak anyways. That's some chip damage. Sneasler's done his job, so he's gonna die. Colossal L. This is where my comes in nice. <laughs> Finally for the second time in five games, but my opponent's probably gonna set me up really nice here. Stones. Oh, those are the one. Easily. Take that hit. Okay. Steam engine. Now it all takes is a power gen. It's over. I'm the fastest thing on the field. He has a reflect up which only weakens physical attacks, but special attacking. I could also fake out with Rillaboom. Oh, wrong thing. I could fake out with Rillaboom again. I believe he's just gonna quit. But that was an easy game. This, this game in the first game really just showed off what this team can do. Yeah, 
this should be an easy knockout. Yeah, so this game and the first game really showed. Colossal can be worked on, can actually be used very effectively if you know how to lead. Wow, he's about that. That's crazy. If you know how to lead, if you have the right strategy, I'm currently still not the best player. Don't know how to lead that well. Except this game, I believe. I led pretty well. Um, I also think there's definitely better EV spreads I could be using. I'm not 100% sure. But I believe, I mean, I've been using Colossal since the first regulation. I've just gone through so many different versions. Because I, I try to survive so many attacks with him because he looks so bulky, but he just takes so much damage, especially with the new regulation D Pokemon that are out here. But I believe I can set up a correct EV spread for him. If anyone knows how to help me, that'd be amazing. But yeah, thank you for coming to this video. First gameplay video, but uh, please leave a like and subscribe. If you guys want to see me try out any other teams, leave recommendations, maybe what teams I could use, or if you have any recommendations of how I can fix this team, please let me know. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. See ya.